While you certainly shouldn't install too many, depending on how much system memory you have, Chrome extensions can do a lot to extend the functionality and what you can do with your web browser. So here are five Chrome extensions that you should try to see if they would benefit you. Useful tech education and gaming nostalgia that won't put you to sleep. Get subscribed and turn on notifications so you won't miss the next guide. Starting out with number one, we have Keepa. Keepa is a cool little Chrome extension, and I believe it's available for other browsers, that embeds into Amazon and allows you to see the price history of the product you're looking at. Frequently, Amazon product listings have a kind of misleading list price along with a sale price that's more in, in line with what the original price should be. This app allows you to see that and see if you're actually getting a good deal or not and allows you to check your kind of impulse buys on Black Friday, Cyber Monday, major event sales and see if the amazing percent off that they're promising is actually a good deal for the product based on what it has cost in the past. This has come up quite a bit with the Toner a BM700 mic that I reviewed a while back. A lot of people left nasty comments about how it's only on sale for $32 and it had a list price of $70, and I shouldn't mislead people, but if you use this to check the price history, the product never really actually costs $70. Its permanent price is $32.99. Next up, we have full page screen capture. Of course, there's a million options out there, both for your actual operating system and web browser for screen capture apps, but something that I use quite a bit in my product reviews and my tutorials is I need a full page screen capture from the top of the page to the bottom and while I could full screen it and screen record with my little cursor just scrolling down the whole time that's a little tedious and so this browser extension is the most reliable one I've tried quite a few the most reliable one that will get you the full page screen capture without too many glitches or issues depending on how quote unquote responsive the website is just click the button you get a little pac-man like animation and you get a very, you know, full resolution, full size, full page screen capture of the website of your choice. Just be careful, it will get stuck in a loop if you have a website that infinitely scrolls because it can never reach the bottom. Coming in at number three, we have View Image. Recently, due to a lawsuit with Getty Images, Google has removed the View Image button from Google Images, making many of our lives very a little more inconvenient. I was going to say very difficult, but it, it's mostly an inconvenience. But this simple browser extension just adds that button back to make your life a little bit easier. Simple, straightforward. Why not? Number four, second to last here, we have Stylish. Now, Stylish goes far and beyond what I will probably ever use it for, but basically it allows you to utilize uh, custom user styles, which are scripts and modifications of a way that a web page looks in order to make it look nicer or to make it look a certain way. The big way that I currently use this is to enable a dark mode for Google Docs. I use Google Docs for most of my scripting and writing and things like that. And the default bright white background just is, it's hard on your eyes. And so they have, there's a user style script which adds most of the background elements. They've recently updated a corner of the background chunk that doesn't fall in line with the theme. But most of the background elements are a nice dark gray, which is a lot easier on the eyes and makes writing a little bit, you know, nicer for me. There's a lot of scripts for a lot of different websites. You can do a lot of cool stuff. If you're interested in customizing your web experience, certainly look into this. Lastly, as for all of those that complain about how many tabs I have open in my videos, this extension is called Session Buddy and it allows you to save, backup, and protect your web sessions. That way, if Chrome crashes or something goes wrong, you don't lose all those precious tabs because I've had that happen quite a few times where something, some weird thing happens, it kills all of my tabs and I cannot recover them with just Control Shift Tab or whatever. It, they're just gone without me going through history. And, if, and unfortunately, history does not save pages when they close, it's only when you first open them, so recovering them is difficult. With Session Buddy, you can save all of your extensions to a saved session and just keep a bunch of those saved and ready to go to recall at will. So you can keep like work session and play session or what have you, or I just back them up by date if I think something might get rid of them. And it makes it a lot more easier to recover your last session if you do have a crash. 
Like I said, Chrome extensions can do a lot for your browsing experience and there are way more out there. So if you'd like to see more, hit that like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech tips. None of these videos or none of these extensions were sponsors or anything like that. These are just things that I have come across and use in my day to day workflow. Of course, having a crap load of extensions and a crap load of tabs like me requires a, you guessed it, crap load of RAM. I'm Fox here to make tech easier and more fun, and I will see you in the next one.